Oh, hey, YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. You know, immediately you recognize what I'm eating, right? The orange color, the lengthy body. Carrots are a common staple in our grocers these days. But you know, if I took this thing back to more than 100 years ago, I'd probably confuse the masses. Probably be labeled as a warlock, maybe even sentenced to death. Not everything we eat is as it was 100 or more years ago. And we've compiled this list to show you just how much has changed. But why does it look so different? Anyway, we'll likely get to that. But before we do, why not subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future videos. If you like what you watched, or are terrified of what you've been putting into your stomach all these years, let us know in the comments section below. Boy, that's good. <laughs> Number eight, watermelon. Look to this 17th century Giovanni Stanke painting, and chances are you won't immediately recognize the larger subjects. What looks to be a deformed watermelon is actually what watermelons used to look like before humans started to selectively breed their fruit. Original watermelon used to sport pockets of seeds and weren't very fleshy. The pale white color was replaced with a redder, more appealing hue thanks to the inclusion of lycopene. Number seven, bananas. Even before the creamier, tastier bananas of Gros Michel were wiped out by fungus, bananas had a very different look. In fact, trypophobes beware. The wild banana, before evolving with some help from mankind into the stark yellow variety we know today, were ripe with seeds and were generally hard and not very pleasant to eat. Musa balbiciana and Musa acuminata, South and Southeast Asian fruits, are an ancestor to the modern banana or the Cavendish. Number six, eggplant. Eggplants are such a distinct vegetable nowadays that it's impossible to mistake one for any other veggie. There was a time, possibly dating back to 300 BC, when eggplants were less purple and less oblong. Wild eggplants, which are similar to ancient and untouched varieties, can actually come in a variety of colors and look a lot like an apple, orange, or peach. As people got their hands on the plant, however, it started to take on a more distinct shape and color. Number five, apples. There are so many varieties of apples out there, but one you won't see anymore is the Esopus Spitzenberg. This antiquated apple was first found during the 18th century and retained popularity well into the 20th century. They're large and tart and admittedly look a lot like regular apples that we're used to. Slightly spicy, but incredibly juicy, Esopus Spitzenberg apples were popular for making ciders. The issue with the Esopus, which are commercially extinct, but can still be found in the wild, is that they were susceptible to disease. Number four, carrots. Vibrant and orange, carrots are a pleasure to the eyes and the palate. But before they were Bugs Bunny's favorite treat, they looked and tasted completely different. Go back far enough to ancient Greece or Rome, and you'll find depictions of carrots that simply don't look right. Sporting a dark to pale purple color scheme, these ancient carrots were also incredibly thick and grew on a forked root. Then came along Dutch farmers, who started breeding the bright orange variety we now know. The reason for the change relates directly to a 16th century royal family, the House of Orange. Number three, corn. Today, corn is a robust vegetable that goes well with barbecues. There was a time, though, when the sweet veggie was no more appealing looking than fields of wheat. When looking at the origin of corn, all paths seem to lead back to a Mexican grass known as teosinte. Originally thought to be closer to rice than corn, Cornell University graduate student George W. Beadle determined that maize and teosinte have similar chromosomes. Like corn, teosinte could also be popped like corn kernels. Number two, peach. We enjoy the fleshiness of peaches, but the peaches of yore, dating back to 4000 BC, were far smaller and had an earthy, salty, and sour taste that often overpowered the sweetness. Peaches originally were small and consisted of about 64% of edible flesh, compared to 90% today and 36% stone. The exterior was waxy and not soft as it is now. Through selective breeding, farmers have increased the size of peaches for a juicier, more pleasant experience. Number one, tomato. Is it a fruit? Is it a vegetable? Though it's scientifically known to be a fruit, 
You'll still find those that insist otherwise, but debating the biology of the tomato isn't why we're here. Early tomato plants sprouted green or yellow fruits that grew to about the size of a cherry. These golden apples, as they were known, were initially widely known to be used by the Aztecs before finding their way to Italy and Spain. During the 18th century, they were actually thought to be poisonous. Turns out, however, that the acidity in them soaked up lead from pewter plates, which led to lead poisoning. Hey, thanks for watching. Now, why did we list only eight fruits in this top 10 archive? Because we're leaving room for you to add two more foods that are different today in the comments section. And while you're at it, if you please, give this video a thumbs up.